Yo. Welcome to Goat Simulator 3. Where the heck is Steve? That's a cool video in the cinema. So grab your popcorn. This is a fun speed run. We're gonna watch some uh I don't I didn't bring the popcorn, but we do have some GTA marathon. I'm so surprised he isn't checking Captain the Collectors. Like What the frog? A rock just got knocked Go off the sake. bike through and now oh my god. Oh. Go eat oh, no. Yeah, there's actually some English band in the background. Anyway, hey everyone, I'm Rico. I, uh, for being a GTA runner, this is my second time in the GTA Marathon with a not GTA game. I mean, Retro City Rampage is like a demake of GTA 3, and then you got this, which close enough, am I right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not even the tourney. I mean, it kind of was a tourney. And I was actually thinking about, you know, the, the Munich Stun Jump tournament. So that's what this is. 29 out of 29 Munich Stun Jumps. The actual name of the category is all of Rams. Who cares? So let's get the timer starting because it's hey. a short run anyways in three, hey, hey, two, look one. Let's go. I don't know why I pressed the timer button, but hey. For the first minute in this run, there's not actually any stun jumps, but uh, a little bit of setup. So I'm gonna boot myself forward with an explosion because there's a grandma in here. Grandma, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, first time she hit me. Still, I hope that I'm, I can fire her. There, explodes. I just broke grandma. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Uh, normally I should teleport out, but I want to show off that there is actually some Wolfenstein in here. Anyway, if I respawn and then go get out of there, I run warp to the other side of the map. I'm like in the northwest. Yeah, northwest of the map. I was uh, southeast. Doesn't matter. There's a little thing in here. It's the Chenitatium shield. <laughs> If you know your friend uh, Channing Tatum, that's the uh, the best, the strongest <laughs> shield out there. If you if you've never played any Ghost Simulator, you are in for a treat. Can I please get? Some? I'm actually stuck underwater. There. Yeah, just ragdoll yourself all the way up here, and now it's time for some uh, for some stun jumps. So just like in GTA. There are a lot of cars that you can just steal and uh, do whatever. And this is the first of 29 stun jumps. There's even some slowdown happening. However, in Ghost Simulator we have a slowdown button which allows us to uh, unslow down and going fast again. If you've ever played San Andreas, and run the category. If you're like a top player at all, you would uh, you would be using the uh, what is it? The police bike, which by oh okay, nice boost. You would be able to like control that with uh, vigilante. However, not in this game. You Am I gonna get slapped? I got. And just like in San Andreas, random stuff happens, and the what? Okay. Like I wanted to say, just random stuff happens every now and then. And uh, that's what keeps this game fresh, like everyone. I... Somehow that was a stun jump. Okay. <laughs> so stun jumps are a little bit less strict than in the GTAs. Like in GTA, you need to like, start. Uh, start to jump with uh, some speed and end end it in a specific area. I hope I'm saying this correct. However, in uh, however in GTA, it's literally just go over or go through a place with a good speed, and uh, that, that, that's all you need to know. So that's why it's uh, fast, easy. Uh, there's no four-star police that I need to um, be wary of. I don't think there's a fair few already. I think this is like number seven. Oh, 
see where I go. Um, where do I go from here? Okay. So welcome to Sweden, actually. There's a lot of Sweden jokes, like a giant IKEA. Wait, where? I went the wrong way, like last night. There. There's a giant IKEA over there. There's a lot of jokes about, uh, well, anything really. So, the all realms category is actually a serious category. I was the first runner for it. I'm not, and now I'm like the slowest runner for it. <laughs> Excuse me. Also because uh, competition actually got serious, I uh, I just grabbed their roots, the one that they improved. I'm more of a fan of the uh, all, uh, what is it, beat the farmer, which is the quote unquote any percent. Which actually has a boss, it's not just a sandbox game like it was before. Uh, actually, I did something that I didn't want to do, and now I am figuring out... I'm just gonna take the, the same crit itself. So, I actually didn't want to go full power over here and then reset. Because I can just drive up mountains, because that is what you can do in real life as well. Maybe not with this car, but you know. Who knows? Better car physics than watchdogs. Oh, but that's um this Oh my oh my lord. Okay. So this is something I've never had happen before, but this car is stuck in here. Can I get it out? I can get it out. Come on. Okay. <laughs> huh. Only in Ghost Sim. Oh yeah, the tongue of the goat is like super, super, super strong, super sticky. I actually got a like an actual Ghost simula Simulator plushie. It has Falcro on the other, other end and it's fun. Uh, go up here. I swear, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. This is an actual game. Oh, RNG is good. Police car. Police can actually bust you. So another one. And now I need to go back over the pointy food factory. Which, uh... Crack into oh, that's a birthday one. That's new. Let me go that way. I'm not complaining, I got a free car. So, at this point in the run, I'm actually very, very much dependent on uh, random cars just spawning every now and then. can keep this car for as long as possible, that would be amazing. Mm. Go up here. So even though there's like only 29 of these, the route is a little bit harder to uh, remember than the 70 unique sun jumps in San Andreas. However, uh, San Fierro is kind of weird as well, so... Like all crisscross. So, uh, this farmer. This is like the sun factory. If I go too fast in here, I'll actually explode all of those things, which uh, I don't want. And the next stun jump is kind of special. Uh, there's a bike, or an, a bicycle, I should say. There, there. That, that is enough. Okay, uh, good enough. I need a car. I am actually contemplating getting a specific or uh, equipping a specific item, the rocket boots, which I can buy and just, you know, rocket. It's actually a little glitch that's going on with those um there are supposed to be cars here hello respawn oh can i go back now 
Ah, uh, now they're here. Sometimes those cars don't spawn. And, uh, yeah, first time that it happened there. Oh well. Already forgot what I was saying, except that we're pretty much a fight. Because we got the Daredevil helmet. Speak. Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, first of all, wardrobe. Get rid of the, the helmet. The helmet is kind of weird. And there's a really weird power up. I'm not complaining about that. I'm not complaining at all. Might actually PB this run. Technically, still possible. Actually, what are we at? Nine minutes. Never mind, it's not possible anymore. Sports car. Up here is actually the headquarters of Twitter. Or X. Rest in peace, X. Uh, we're just here. Game was lagging just a little bit. For some reason, that only happens in that place. That. And if I do everything correctly, this is the last card that I'm getting. Uh, there. I waited with respawning to give these cards a chance to respawn because these might not always do the thing. Anyway, um, did I get that one? Yeah. Go to the left. So I actually stay on the path. There's another super, super sneaky hidden vamp all right over there. That was Hoover Dam. That's the kind of last area we've done. Yeah, we've pretty much done every area. Uh, Gothenburg, uh, whatever the farm was called, the Skyrim farm. This is downtown. Two out of five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Elections, which unfortunately <laughs> is too real. No, no this is going to be a PB looking at the timer. What the heck? So I gotta be honest, I haven't been playing this too much, and now that I said it, cars in the water, fortunately. Goat is strong. Will he land on wheels? He will. He will. He will. So get ready on time, Josh. And yeah, that's it. And what does that do? It unlocks this little thing on the back. It's like an 1122. That's that's fine. That's fine. I can make this little car just go in apes, and uh, if I hold it, it can actually just spawn a car around me. And... Yeah, yeah, physics. Oh, that's a dump truck. I thought it was a monster car. But it isn't. Anyway, that's uh, Go Simulator 3. Unique stun jumps, or all rams as we call it. Uh, don't get your hopes all set up too much though. There will be a better run tomorrow. Uh, I think the start of tomorrow is all unique stun jumps for 69 and 70 in San Andreas Definitive Edition by my friend uh, Fearful. So that'll be something to look at. However, we're not done today either. I don't know what's next. I know this Flajan is a uh, plate. It's in a little bit. Anyway. Uh, no, I can Ooh. tell you what's next. Yeah, I know what's next. Next is uh, Momo doing uh, Titan Vice all hidden packages runs. So all the moved and way harder packages in Titan. Enjoy. And then, and then, uh, and then Flag and uh, 80% oh, okay. the West as you by C. Yeah, you're almost right. You're almost right. Almost, almost. I, I knew something was up for them, but oh well. Enjoy the rest of the marathon. All right. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we might take a little bit of a break because we're a little ahead of schedule uh, and Momo's still setting up. But when we come back, we'll be back with Titan Vice, all hidden packages. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 